Friends, I welcome everyone to the Tire Expert channel. As promised earlier, we are doing with you a more detailed review of the new products from the Triangle Company. This is a Summer Tire Triangle Effect Sport TH202. I have it presented in the size of 235-45 P1797 Y, extra loud reinforced. According to the internal structure, there is a single-layer polyester frame, a layer of nylon under the tread at zero degrees, to maintain a contact spot at high speeds. I think that, taking into account the sportiness, they made the frame twist up to half of the sidewall, thereby compensating, so to speak, for the absence of a two-layer frame, but, it feels like there is enough space in the landing zone of the tire here, it is quite solid of such advantages, there is a drowning and a protrusion to protect the disc, which is quite important in the summer, if you are going to get used to a curb, stone or to some high object. According to the markings, well, there are almost permissive certificates or homologations of all continents and Europe and China and America. Even the marking is M plus S, despite the fact that this is a summer tire, but Americans love this all season. So the Chinese are on the way, so to speak, to meet these requests of American consumers accordingly. Well, from the point of view of the internal structure and the sidewall, probably, and the markings, probably that's all. Another thing I would like to say is, yes, the tire sounds like a sport, and in principle, implies sportiness. According to the profile, yes, you see that the profile, let's say, it is so squared, but not 100%, yes, the manufacturer left here such a kind of rounding, that is, the shoulder area is slightly rounded, and in this part it is not so hard. In other words, the manufacturer still kept this place, so that the tire reacts to some road bumps, thereby being even more comfortable. I think it's about 75 by 25, or 80 by 20, that is, 80% of sports, and 20% of comfort. From the point of view of drawing, asymmetry, classic, yes, we have an outside the outside, and an inside the inside. There are three wide support ribs that will directly participate in the directional stability of the rectilinear. Next, what we have, wide supporting shoulder ribs, here is the outer rib, here the blocks are more massive. They have such a wave-like or concave shape, and there are still mass nubrasny lintels between the blocks. In principle, what such a shape is made for, but, I mean, that at the entrance of the turn, when there is a support and a load on the shoulder, the block will stretch slightly, thereby increasing the contact spot, and the presence of a jumper will not allow it to move, and thereby improve grip on turns. Well, by the way, I read it in the catalog later, and it is. What hasn't been added yet? The composition of the rubber compound of the shoulder blocks. It differs from the inner part, they are more rigid. Again, in order to participate directly in turns and give more stability, and accordingly, grip. The contact spot is here, the laying of the cord is done in such a way as to evenly distribute the pressure in this spot, and accordingly, the tire fits more tightly to the surface. This gives it the opportunity to bond better, and wear out evenly. What else? For longitudinal channels, three wide, one narrow, they go here, 6 mm, 13 and 2, 13 and 8, 13 and 2. In principle, it is enough to pump a sufficiently large amount of water, so, and thereby combat the risk of aquaplaning. On this edge here you can see such slices. Well, in principle, this is a technical element that manufacturers quite often use. These slices are so that the water, so to speak, bypasses the block more smoothly, and at the same time, it makes it possible to break the water film. A wide channel implies the capture of a large amount of water, but also a large amount of air, and then, accordingly, a logical question. So it should be noisy. In principle, yes, with the width of such a channel, in principle, it can make noise. But the manufacturer has made such special notches inside, you can see from both sides of the channels, thereby reducing these vortices and lowering the noise. The tread depth here is 7 and 6, Yes, I have already voiced the width to you, in principle. It is enough for such a tire to fight with water, and at the same time, a low block, 
it is more stable and more maneuverable, respectively, gives the tire to be more maneuverable. The rubber compound is used here with new fins, based on silanes, and, accordingly, special resins, which improved grip on wet surfaces, on dry surfaces, and reduced rolling resistance. In principle, manufacturers also position this tire as a tire for electric vehicles. The weight of this tire is 10 and 3 kilograms. In this size, well, almost everything, yes, we have discussed with you in terms of technical innovations and the solutions that the manufacturer has applied. Well, anticipating the question about the tests of many, yes, let's give the tests. So, the official presentation was last summer in Hungary, if memory serves, Hongar Ring. So far, even here is the tire view, so to speak, such an English, so to speak, magazine, which is ahead of the whole planet, quickly buys tires and does tests accordingly, while they have done nothing. But there are already reviews of our consumers on Yandex. I found it in the market and in Drive 2, a man on the audio road put an Etoshino. And the previous model he had was a Dunlops Sport Max 50 Plus. And so he compared, so by weight, yes, the triangle turned out to be lighter, so, accordingly, by softness. The triangle was softer. From the point of view of behavior on a dry surface, I said yes, plus a triangle. On the water in general, definitely. On a wet surface too. The noise she made was average. The only thing he noted, it means that with more abrupt realignments while driving, the tires yaw a little, but this is understandable. I explained, yes, because this part was still left for comfort, so of course, a few fractions of a second to react. But at the same time, he noted excellent behavior and stability if you enter a fairly sharp turn. This is exactly the technology, these blocks that I told you, yes, these elongated masto jumpers, due to what is this happening, and in general, in general, he would also say that the balancing was minimal. Well, here it is, you can read these reviews, so whoever makes a choice in the direction of this tire, well, accordingly, we will wait for your comments on the operation in the upcoming summer season. According to the combination of price and quality, it is clear that the triangle will certainly win along with others, in front of other more famous manufacturers. Well, from an operational point of view, I think in principle, this tire should probably show itself quite well. Therefore, friends, this concludes a short review. Here is the triangle effect of the Sport H202. Subscribe to our Telegram, YouTube and Zen channel, and wait for the next videos that we are already preparing for you. Good luck on the roads.